Hello everybody! In my new tutorial, I show how to replace the DS images with animated GIFs in Hearts of Iron 4. For it, I created custom animated images. In this tutorial, you can witness how I created them, so that you can hopefully make your own in the future. The video editor I use is DaVinci Resolve, although I am using a paid version, there's also a free version for download, which is pretty much just as good. So, if you don't have a modern video editor already, a link is in the description. Also, I might seem a bit perfectionist in this video, but I just want to teach you some of my tricks. Alright, time to do it. First, I will create a timeline for our custom portrait. The size of portraits is 156x310, going above is just unnecessary and will also break the portrait. However, Da Vinci has a minimum pixel requirement of 256 so I will just use the double amount, 312x420, which I will half later. I will set the frame rate to 30. Okay, so, for the portrait, I thought it'd be funny if I picked the foreman from my first tutorial. I will put in the Hoi 4 version first, then grab the original transparent and place it on top, before deleting the Hoi 4 version. I do this so I can set a custom background. Alright. In the timeline, I'll put a noise generator below him so it's his background. I'll customize it so it kind of looks like a Hotline Miami background. Great. There's just one problem. The background does not loop, so once it returns to the start, you can see the background kind of snap. Time to show you a little secret. First, I increase the length of the current timeline. I then duplicate the timeline so we have the same settings. Then I delete everything from it. Now I will put in the old timeline into the new one. I will cut its start using the razor. Note that if you don't want the timeline to move in DaVinci when you delete something, use Ctrl X, never use the delete key. Let me move it to the front. I will cut at 3 seconds because that's how long I want the final GIF to be. Now I will copy the video two times. Between them, I will also add video transitions so that they meet the center like this. And then, I will add a video in node and video out node at start and end of the middle clip. Let me loop the video and play it. As you can see, we now have a perfectly looped GIF. The latter half transitions to the former half, which transitions to the middle of the video, right before the transition starts again to the former half. Complicated, I know but you will understand it in time. Let's render it. First, I'll change the format to mp4, and then make sure the correct resolution is set. I will also disable audio. Then I set a name and file path, and finally hit render. Here's the final product, which I then implemented into the game in my other video. The next thing I will create is a custom focus tree icon. There's not really any force size of it, but Excluding the transparent border, they're usually around 90x70 or 80x80. For this icon, I want to have a kind of TV 4 to 3 ratio, so I made a guess of 80x60. To get around the 256 minimum, my timeline will be 5 times the size, 400x300. Okay, this is going to be fairly simpler. I've prepared a transparent TV border that I took from pixabay.com. So I'll put it in first and scale it correctly. In it, I'll just put in some random gameplay footage and delete the audio. And then I'll go into the color tab and remove its saturation while also changing the light parameters. Then I rendered it like last time. Well, I would have. But then it started complaining, so I rendered it at 400 and 300 and downsized it later in the other tutorial. We're done here. Sure, it takes effort. But as far as I know, the players yearn for cool animated portraits, as long as they don't take up too much space. I wish you much inspiration for the future, and remember, God loves you.